Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Finally doing some more work on the Bovard and Seafang. Uh, rolled it out of the out of the garage temporarily because I'm unscrewing the piston and piston rod from the crosshead and it was quite stuck. I put my four foot Harbor Freight pipe wrench on there and uh, with a long pipe on I was just barely able to get it to move a little bit but I didn't want to brain myself with the pipe if uh, something slipped. So this is, this is what we came up with. Got a pipe wrench on there, loop the chain around, have that bolt in there just to keep the chain on. I'm just pulling it with the bulldozer back and forth. We started off giving it some heat with some big propane torches, both on the threaded end there and also on the, uh, shot some flame through the, the water jacket to heat the cylinder up a little bit. And it threads out pretty damn well. We've been at it for a little while and got, looks maybe three threads out and we got about 50 million threads to go, so let's get at it. Well, we got it done. We got a little bit moved and it started getting dark, but uh, took a look at it. We made a lot of progress. You can get a, a fair amount of swing on that wrench. And uh, we got it, got it loose. Look at that. The crosshead is free 
and uh, all we got to do tomorrow, take the crosshead out and uh, use a hydraulic jack against something here and push that piston and piston rod out and we'll have Forky the forklift with a pallet on it ready to catch the 200 pound piston. And that went pretty well. This job, this part of the job is the part I was looking forward to least and most worried about as far as success rate and difficulty and everything but it came out really well. Everything moved smoothly. Uh, I'm sure it really helped they, that I had both the front and rear of the cylinder soaking in waste oil and diesel for like two years before I finally got around to this project. So that really helped loosen things up. All right, today is tomorrow. We got the crosshead all threaded out and we're starting to push the, the piston out. There's the whole stack of blocks and everything against the crankshaft, hydraulic jack, and it's moving pretty easily. One uh, piece of advice if you're doing something like this, using a hydraulic jack on its side. Make sure to put the, the pump part as low down to the bottom as you can because that's where the oil, hydraulic oil, gets sucked from if you have it up on top. Uh, once the jack comes out a little bit, it'll start sucking air and it'll stop working. So the way it is now, it'll extend out a fair amount before, before it stops. So it's definitely made some movement. We're almost all the way out there. You see I smeared a whole bunch of grease and everything and I did a long time ago cleared up the cleaned up the cylinder bore with a flat disc on an angle grinder and it came out, it looks pretty good. I can almost still see cross hatching. So uh, we've got a little little more ways to go. In the last six inches, four inches or so of the bore is oversized. The piston doesn't come up all that way. So uh, it doesn't need to totally clear that. It should It should move pretty freely soon. Well there you have it. The piston is finally out. And it's just amazing how clean the bore is given how stuck this was. That shiny spot in the front, that's from me cleaning it pre uh, previously. But even back there, you can see it's really not very bad at all. A lot of goo and rust and everything in the back. I'll have to scoop all that out. That's that, and here's the piston. And rod. Hopefully this will clean up. I mean, it def definitely is rusty, but it's really, there are some decent spots. So, it might just be good metal hiding under the surface rust. The rings are even still shiny. Of course, I'll pop these out and get new rings. There you have it, everybody. Finally did some more work on the Bovard and Seafang. So, uh, we got a lot more work to go. We got cleaning up the intake, got cleaning up the bore, and uh, going through the the uh, cam box and and uh, magneto trip box area there. Go through the bearings, but this is the biggest. This was the biggest step. I was most worried about it, and it's finally done. So everything else is pretty easy, as far as I'm concerned. So thanks for watching everybody. Make sure to uh, hit the like button if you like this and you know thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to keep up to date with with this project and all the others. Thanks for watching everybody. Come on back for more.